right. Go ahead. Hello, everybody. This is George with Melanix Automotive. About a year ago, I did a video how to replace ECM in a Honda Odyssey, and I've been using my cell phone, and uh, it has been about a year, a year and a half. The video has reached about a million views, or it's a little bit over a million views. There's a lot of people that don't, they, that believe that I rigged the video. So today, I'm gonna duplicate that video because I'm gonna do an ECM swap, and uh, I'm gonna have Joe, he's gonna videotape me in a second. So we won't pause anything, we won't cut anything, I'll do a swap, and then we're gonna do all the procedures. I'll be using my cell phone via Bluetooth, and I'll prove you that's my cell phone in just a second. So first, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to remove my original computer, and I'm gonna replace it with identical used computer. And what's nice about this, these could be, re, uh, these are rewritable computers. So I could take a used computer or a new computer, you could always rewrite it. So when I install this computer, my vehicle will not start. It's gonna start for about split second, and then a green key will be flashing on my dash. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna do a swap. All right, as you can see, this is my original computer. This is my used computer, it's going in, a different computer, but part numbers are matching. You wanna make sure part number matches. And a lot of times, check with your local dealer, last two numbers could usually change, like A69 or A70, so just keep an eye on that. So I'm gonna do a swap. Okay, just to prove you, this is my cell phone. It's my personal cell phone, right here. All right, you can see there's my text messages, blah, blah, blah. So you know that this is a cell phone. And I'm gonna also dial out. So you see this is a cell phone, okay? Now we're gonna go inside a car. I'm gonna use my Launch X431 connector right here. And you could obtain this on Amazon, it's inexpensive. Back in the day, it used to be $499. Now you can probably buy this for 250 bucks. So right now, I'm gonna plug this in in my OBD2, which is located right here. As you can see, my light came on because I had people saying that I programmed a computer using HDS. I don't use HDS, I'm gonna prove you right now in a second. Since we did a swap, when I start the vehicle right now, it will start for split second and it will die because my immobilizer doesn't match. So I'm gonna have Joe come over here and he's gonna look at my cluster. So here's what happens. I start the vehicle, there's a green, green key that's flashing and you can see my vehicle died. I'm gonna do it one more time. As you can see my immobilizer not accepting the computer. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take my phone I'm gonna take my phone right here, and uh, what I need to do, I need to write this VIN number. This VIN number, as you can see, this VIN number is ending in 1830. Once I log into my, uh, my program right here, and look, I got all my apps on my phone, so you know that this is a cell phone, it's not anything else. And I got a, I got a program right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna connect to the vehicle. As you can see, Asian, I have all makes and models. I'm gonna select Honda, update later. I'm gonna select Honda. And as you can see, it's, you can see it says connecting Bluetooth and this is my connector number. So currently it's connecting to the vehicle and once it connect, connects to the vehicle, it's going to pull a different VIN number because if we have a wrong computer in there, you'll see my VIN number will, is not gonna match. So now I'm connecting to my vehicle and what's nice about this connector that you don't need to do in-out code. With HDS, you need in-out code, which every day changes. This will bypass all that information. So check this out. As soon as it pulls up all the information, look, it's pulling up the computer part number and it's pulling the VIN number where I took the computer, 3620. My VIN number is ending with 1830, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do right now, check it out. I'm gonna write a new VIN. I'm gonna put system selection. I'm gonna go into engine systems. 
and it's connecting. It's all done via Bluetooth. As you can see, there's no HDS. Joe, if you want to bring the camera closer so you can see there's no wires attached to it. Just connector right here, HDS. We're doing this all via Bluetooth, all right? And it's gonna retrieve the signals. It takes about a second. I'm gonna go into special functions, okay? And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do right VIN. I could do replace ECM, PCM, and all the good stuff. But I'm gonna do right VIN. It says blah, blah, blah. Make sure it's neutral or park. And now I'm gonna have to write my new VIN. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna write this VIN number into my, into that computer, because that computer is rewritable. So I'm gonna do it. It's five Frank, Nancy, Robert, Larry, five Henry, 96, Frank Baker, 101, 830. And what's nice about this, it's rewritable. A lot of the dealers will tell you it's not rewritable. So it's, so it says right when VIN is complete. So right now, if I get out of the option, watch this, and connect to this vehicle, I'm going to quit. It says do not forget your connector. I'm going to go back to Honda, and I'm going to connect to this vehicle. It's going to pull the correct VIN because I just rewrote the VIN into that computer. But the vehicle is still not going to start. We need to go ahead and marry Immobilizer to that computer. So watch this. Once it connects... And the reason I'm doing this, because like I said, I mean, I, I showed you guys how it's done. It just, there's a lot of people that uh, don't believe that it was uh, done via phone. They think it was rigged. So as you can see, current VIN number ending 1830, which is right here. 1830. So I just rewrote the VIN, but the vehicle is still not going to start. Next, what I'm going to do, as you can see, the key is still flashing on my dash. Joe, want to come back here and, and get that? As you can see, it's still flashing. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna get into my, I'm gonna go into my immobilizer option. And what's nice about this tool, it will do everything, airbags, it will do ABS, it will do uh, steering angle sensor, uh, it will program keys, it will do all kinds of things. Uh, and I have all the makes and models in mine. Mine is completely unlocked. I, I have, uh, including European makes and models. Uh, but you can only purchase, if you would like, the one specific model that you're working on. It never really expires um, as long as you keep your connector. So we're going to go system selection. I'm going to go into immobilize. And you can see all the systems that I have. Transmission, airbag, occupant, seat weight sensor, uh, ABS, four-wheel drive, electronic power steering. You name it, uh, it has it all. It has a, a Honda Smart Key system remote starter. So I'm going to go into a mobilizer. And it says you need to know what you're doing. It gives you a warning, immobilizer setup. It tells you you need to have a, pressure, a professional knowledge, blah, 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 which I just skipped through that because I know what I'm doing. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to program that computer to this uh, immobilizer. I'm going to hit replace ECM PCM. Communicating. If I, like I said, since I know what I'm doing, I could go in and get this done in a matter of five minutes if I didn't have to show you every single step. But if you use HDS and every Honda mechanic knows, you need in-out code. And it's a rolling code every day. It's a different code. And if, if, you, if you're not a Honda dealership, you need to purchase the code. And I believe it's around $60 to buy that code. So once... Once it's, it sees it says turn ignition off, it takes about a minute. I turn it off. It says turn ignition on. And there's still no HDS in there. The registration has been complete. Joe, take a look at my dash. There's no more green flashing key. There's no HDS connected. It's still my tool. All I have to do right now, I just have to hit my brake and start my engine. Check it out. It's running. My engine is running, no more flashing keys. I'm gonna have Joe come over to my engine bay. And there was no pause. We didn't cut the video, we didn't do anything. Everything was done with my cell phone. It says check all keys to ensure uh, the engine starts. Engine starts. My engine is running right here. This is the computer that was in here before. 
So in order for me to make this computer work again, I gotta do the same exact procedure. Because if I put that computer in here, it's not gonna work. I gotta repeat the procedure. But the computer's rewritable, everything's done, engine's running, and that's it for this video. Once again, this was George with Melnix Automotive. Please email your questions or leave it in the comment. Try not to call me because I have a full business going here and I can't answer all the calls. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.